Want more Polish videos like this? Subscribe to our channel. Hello everybody, uh, welcome to Top Polish Words. My name is Marzena and today we will learn 10 phrases for surviving back to school. So let's start. Plecak, backpack. Plecak, which basically means backpack. I guess it comes from Polish word plecy, plecy, which is a back. So plecak is something you put on your back, backpack. So you can say zapakuj to do plecaka, pack this in the backpack. Kolega z klasy, classmate. Kolega z klasy, classmate. So introducing your classmate, if he is a guy, you can say to jest mój kolega z klasy. This is my classmate. If it's a girl, to jest moja koleżanka z klasy. This is my classmate who is a girl. We say, you know, this kolega, koleżanka. We use it like a friend, but not a very close friend. Praca domowa, homework. Praca domowa which basically is homework. Praca means work and domowa is like homes. So praca domowa is basically homework. It's not one word, it's two separate words. You can ask your kid, odrobiłeś już pracę domową? Have you done your homework yet? Examine, exam, examine, which basically means exam. And it probably comes from English, but the spelling is very different. So pay attention to spelling. And when you have like very important exam next day, you can say Jutro mam ważny egzamin. Tomorrow I have a very important exam. Jutro mam ważny egzamin. Especially up to high school, we say sprawdzian, which comes from sprawdzać, which means to check. So sprawdzian means to checking the knowledge. And I guess once you are at the university, you will call it colloquium which is the sprawdzian, but at the university level. For whatever the reason, we've got another name for that. Letnie wakacje, summer break. Letnie wakacje, summer break. Co będziesz robił w wakacje letnie? What will you be doing during the summer break? Co będziesz robił w wakacje letnie? You know, summer break actually in Polish schools, it's, it's pretty long. So up to high school, we got like two months of summer break, basically July and August. And because the school ends at the end of June, but there's still usually one week left. So it's like two months and one week, small week. Szkoła, school. Szkoła. Szkoła means school, any type of school. Uh, although uh, for university level, we would say uniwersytet. Or if you really want to use szkoła, you can say szkoła wyższa which is like the higher type of school, if you translate it literally. So if you want to ask somebody where he or she is going to school, you can ask, Gdzie jest twoja szkoła? Where is your school? Uczyć się. To study. Uczyć się. Uczyć się means to study. So when you see somebody studying really hard, you can come closer and ask, Czego się tak uczysz? What are you studying so hard? Czego się tak uczysz? To jest pierwszy dzień zajęć. It's the first day of class. To jest pierwszy dzień zajęć. This is the first day of class. So in Poland, up to the high school, the first day is actually the first of September. And I guess there is always something big going on in each school. So there are not really like classes per se. We've got this big ceremony and singing like uh, the school's item or um, celebrating. And then the school starts from the next day, actually. But we call it the first day of school. And for university level, the first day of school, it depends on the department and on the university, but it's somewhere around uh, October. Jesteśmy w tej samej klasie. We are in the same class. Jesteśmy w tej samej klasie. We are in the same class. Classes in Poland are actually set for the elementary school. There are usually A and B or A, B, C or A, B, C, D. and depends on how big the school is. And usually 30 students per class, sometimes 20, 25 in the elementary school. And the classes don't change every year. So you stay with the same people throughout six years of your education. And then, uh, from junior high and high school, you actually choose a profile to your class. So you can do like uh, more math or more biology or more English if you want. 
And this is kind of very important for whatever you'll be doing at the university. So you usually try to choose whatever you will need for the university exams because this will be the, the subject that you will have more classes of. Like, uh, for example, I got uh, math and information science. So we got a lot of those and we didn't really get a lot of like English classes or, or, or Polish classes. Or we got only, you know, half of the history classes for whatever other profiles had. Na jakie zajęcia chodzisz? What classes are you taking? Na jakie zajęcia chodzisz? What classes are you taking? Na matematykę i fizykę. Mathematics and physics. And that's all for today. So today we studied 10 phrases for surviving back to school. So be sure to like this video and check polishpod101.com. And see you again. Thank you.